The thirst for revenge that had burned within me after my family's murder remained unquenched, even after Jack of Blade's death. Searching for answers, I wandered into the wilderness where I met many people. Some gave me shelter and food with no thought of payment or thanks. Others had less charitable intentions for which they would pay with their lives. And so it came to pass that my travels took me east to Samarkand, where for centuries I studied in the great libraries. It was there that I learned of the first spire, of the power it granted Albion's rulers, how it destroyed the old kingdom. Finally, I thought I had discovered a way to find the peace that had eluded me for so long. If I could find a way to rebuild the spire, I could harness its powers to rid Albion of evil and prevent any from suffering my fate again. Studying in Samarkand, I learned much about the spire. I thought I had learned all there was to know. It was then that I returned to Albion to set my plan in motion, to influence those with the means to rebuild the spire and use it to rid Albion of evil, the same evil that had blinded me. When one morning the mayor of Bowerstone, Lucian Fairfax, awoke to find his wife and child dead, the board was set. Through my influence, Lucian gained the knowledge I had gathered in Samarkand. Soon he became convinced his family could be returned to him if the spire were rebuilt. But the grief of his loss had darkened his heart, and a new, more sinister plan grew within him. For Lucian planned to use the spire's power to destroy Albion and replace it with something unrecognizable. But if my vision to rid Albion of evil were to be fulfilled, I would have to take the spire for my own. Lucian needed heroes to complete the spire, and I needed one to seize it. I found our hero on the streets of Bowerstone, a child named Sparrow with a sister, Rose. They wanted nothing more than a better life. When the two were summoned to Castle Fairfax, what Rose received instead was death. It was that tragedy that drove Sparrow to destroy Lucian, and finally, the spire came under my control. But as I stood atop the tower, I realized the true cost of my plan, and for the first time since that fateful day in Oakvale, tears ran from my eyes. But the direst consequences of my actions were yet to be revealed. At the height of the Old Kingdom, the first spire, a conduit for all Albion's will, created a tear in the fabric between this world and the Void. Through this, the Corruptor began to channel his influence. Fearful of this growing threat, three great heroes, Soul, Blaze, and Stone, set out to close the rift. Little did they know what fate awaited them. On the eve of the Corruptor's emergence, they channeled their powers into the Void, but the force required to seal the rift was so great, it shattered the spire. The explosion devastated the old kingdom and crystallized the three heroes into willstones, scattering them across the land. Centuries passed, and slowly Albion recovered. In time, the willstones were found and preserved by the Enlightened. Their leader, a great seer, had foreseen a time when the age of heroes would fail when none would remain to prevent the corrupt from entering this world. Many believed the Spire's destruction had been caused by the first wish. It was not until the rebuilt Spire became mine that I gained the power to see the truth. The Spire would again allow the Corruptor into our world. My attempts to remove evil from Albion had unleashed the darkest power of them all. For the last century, the Corruptor's influence has spilled from the void corrupting hearts and minds, and awakening long-forgotten nightmares.